Hey, welcome to my tutorial. I'm Yumen Nar, and today I will show you how to open a custom design pop up on a successful contact form 7 submission. So, whenever a user fills out, successfully fills out a form on your website, a custom design pop up will appear with buttons, with functionalities, and with custom conditions. So, whenever a user fills out a form successfully, they will receive a different pop-up than whenever the process fails. Like the video and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned and let's get started. If you create or run a website and want to improve it, then my channel and website is for you. Head over to my website, yourmanar.com and you will find tons of informative content, tips and tricks, ready-made websites with complex functionalities for sale, and most importantly, discounts for the best tools to improve your website's performance. Enjoy this video. I hope it will be valuable for you. As always, I'm your man, Nar. All right, let's get started. So uh, this is the written form of the same article. As always, I will add the link in the description of the video. So in case you don't like watching videos, you can go there and just read it. So how to open a custom design pop-up after Contact Form 7 Submission Step-by-Step -step Guide 2021. This is important because the year is 2021. Uh, but if, in case you're watching this in 2022, uh, it's still relevant, believe me. All right, so uh, the process is really simple. We have to install the required plugins, create the form obviously, create the pop-up, uh, add the triggering settings uh, in the pop-up and then uh, write in just a simple code. I will add the code in the description and I have it uh, in the article as well. You can just copy and paste it. It's really, really, really simple. Anyone can do it and I know that you can do it as well. So. Here's the list of required plugins. It's Contact Form 7, WP Popups, which stands for WordPress Popups, and Code Snippets. So the Contact Form 7 is uh, only natural because obviously we need Contact Form 7 because the tutorial is about it. And then we have this plugin, WP Popups, WordPress Popups, uh, using which we will create a pop-up. And then we have Code Snippets, uh, so this, this plugin is really useful, I even have it in my favorite tools page uh, because instead of adding the code in the functions PHP, uh, you will just add it in the code snippets and this way uh, the, the written codes will not be lost after each theme update. I hope this makes sense. Uh, so this is it. So just install the three plugins that I, that I already said, I already have them installed, as you can see when I, whenever I go to my dashboard, when I go to my dashboard, I have the contact, which is the contact form seven. I even have the form created. Uh, I have WP pop-ups and I have these snippets, right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create a pop-up. Ah, I knew, I'm sorry, I knew. Uh, form submission pop-up tutorial all right I don't want to change anything in here I just want their name email subject and a message so this looks fine I'm not gonna change anything in case you want to learn how to fully design and uh, edit your contact form 7 forms I will add a link in the description uh, you can go there and learn how to design it and then I will add another link where I will where I show you uh, how to set up email notifications and autoresponders on contact form 7. So right now we need nothing we just need to copy this text so uh, this is the shortcut we will go to pages add this uh, in one of my tutorial pages which is contact form 7 example this is just an example where i show you uh, how i've edited every and each field on contact form 7 i will just add the uh, shortcode in here because this is a, a demo page for the sake of demonstration so yeah so so you can see that i have edited each and every field possible and i have written the code in here but this is for some other time Right now, we will just add a new section, shortcode, and just pass the shortcode that I've copied. I will just add some 
padding so it looks nice. Five, bottom five, right, right. Let's make this 40. Okay. Okay, this looks nice, I bet. So this is the form. Okay, so this was the first step. This is really easy. Now the second step is also easy. You should go to WordPress pop-ups, add new. Uh, when you install the WordPress pop-up for the first time, it will automatically take you to the place where you can just add your pop-up. You just have to uh, click on create my first pop-up, just like the screenshot in here. You can see create your first pop-up. Uh, otherwise you can go the same steps that I just did. So this is tutorial pop-up, CF7, elegant pop-up. You can pick blank, you can pick transparent, it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to have some border and that's it. Uh, now uh, pop-up title, uh, you have successfully filled the form. Congratulations. And I will make everything in center line. And then what I'm gonna do is I will add, you can see close button. This is the short code for the close button and the text will see, thanks. And then I will add one more button, which will say button, uh, learn more, okay? You can do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm just showing you some uh, simple functionalities that you can have in your pop-up. So, uh, or learn more, okay? Now I will add a link on the learn more. I will link it to my homepage. This is just for the sake of example. Of course, you're gonna uh, link it to some other valuable pages. Now let's align it to the center and let's align this one to the center as well. All right, here you can see we have some other shortcuts. It's for Facebook uh, icons and stuff like that. Let's say if you want to add a social media icon, you can add in this shortcode over there and add just a link up to your Facebook page. But since I don't have a Facebook page, I don't really need it. Now save. Of course, we can design it. So let's say we can give it an animation. We want it to fade in, fade, slide in. Uh, we can have the uh, width, uh, width uh, changed and the background colors. I'm not gonna change anything, but remember you can always change this. But since this is not a design tutorial, it's just technical. So I'm just showing you where you can change the design, but I'm not going to do it. Now, here's the tricky part. So go to display rules, select the page on which you want to pop up to appear. This is important. So I added the shortcode on my contact form seven example page is equal to contact form seven example. Okay. So this is important to make sure that the page is set correctly. And now in the settings, you go to triggers and you add this class triggering, okay? Because you don't want the pop-up to appear, let's say on scroll, you don't want it to appear after, uh, let's say three seconds or four seconds or X amount of seconds. Uh, so we want it to appear on class triggering. Save, publish. <coughs> All right, bless you. Now let's continue. The first step that we're gonna do is we're going to add a simple code. This is the code, I have it in here. We will have to add this code in as in the snippets. So we go to snippets, add new. Pop up on CF7. And we pass the code in here. So we just added the code. The only things that we're going to change is we're going to change this ID, this number, and this number. So this number is about, uh, is the ID of the uh, contact form seven form, and this ID and this number is the ID of the pop-up. So in order to find out the ID of the pop-up, we just go to the pop-up editor. So this is the section where we, we were editing the pop-up, and you can see in here we have pop-up ID, which says 2246. So we're gonna copy this code, 
and we're gonna pass it in here and then in the to change the contact uh, to get the contact uh, forms ID we will have to go tutorial so this was it we just created it right and you can see post equals to 22242 so this is the ID you can even find the ID in here so it's 2242 okay so we just copy that and paste it in here instead of the 2209 so this says if the form is 2242 show this pop-up whenever the mail is sent are we good so far you can see that i haven't saved the settings and once we come in here sorry for the error so you can see that if you say let's say my email is nar you know, at humannar.com and the subject is subject and the tutorial submit no pop-up will appear. It will just say successful, thanks, blah, blah, blah. Nothing will happen, okay? So once we save this, save and activate, remember we added the ID of the form and the ID of the pop-up right here, okay? And once we refresh this page, Now the pop-up that we created will appear. You can see that it's magic. Yo at humanr.com subject tutorial with pop-up submit. You can see the pop-up appeared. So we can say thanks, which will close the form or we can say learn more you can see that it will take us to uh, humanr.com. So we say thanks and it closes the pop-up. You can see how easy it was, okay? So the last note that I wanna make, which is really, really important for you to understand, so please pay, uh, pay close attention. Uh, so this part of the code where we said WPC F7 mail sent is triggered only whenever the mail is sent successfully. So let's say I come in here and I write yo, and I write in yo, and I write another yo, yo. So because this is a mail format and this is not an email, it will not accept it. So the pop-up should not appear. <coughs> Bless you another time. Uh, so we can see the pop-up didn't appear because there was an error. Now, in case you want to have different conditions for the pop-up, so let's say whenever it's failed, you want to show a different pop-up, you will have to do the entire process this again to create uh, create another pop-up, uh, leave the form the same, so one form, but different pop-ups. So you just create another pop-up with another content, with another buttons, and add another snippet, okay, add new, and pass the same exact code, just change the pop-up ID, okay? The only thing else that you need to change is the WPCF mail sent. You can see that in the article, I have all these events written down. So let's say if you want to pop up to appear just whenever uh, the user clicks on the submit uh, button. Okay, so you can add this code. So we're go I'm going to do it just for the sake of example on the same pop up. So instead of mail sent, I will just add submit, save changes. And now once we refresh the page let's refresh it one more time because this snippet is still being activated okay yo 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 submit the pop-up should appear right now and it appeared okay just because i changed the condition so there are three variables in each snippet one is the condition when should the pop-up appear the second one is the contact form ID itself. And the third one is the pop-ups ID. So let's say if you want to have four pop-ups on the same form for different conditions, all of these conditions. So let's say one, whenever the user successfully submits. So let's say, oh, congratulations. Now you can do this. Or whenever some information was input uh, was uh, wrong. Okay, the input information was wrong. So you will add this condition and say, and say, hey, uh, you failed to make it successful, please do this or do that. Uh, and this is basically it. 
So you just change the IDs of the pop-up because you want a different pop-up to appear in different com conditions on the same, obviously, contact form 7. So this was it, guys. I hope this was valuable. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. That really helps to put out the word on the street. I mean, on YouTube. Uh, and see you next time. I'm your man, Nar. Cheers.